pay ever. What is it, Sean? What files you got in this new case? Not much. The suspect's name is uh, Reach, Victor Reach. Well, what's his deal? He's a foreign criminal charged with heist. He's also banned from France and Britain. Yeah, I mean, according to what I've got, he's infiltrated multiple engines, homes, and search for a files. He's, he's probably got a bone to pick with the American government, and he knows we're his key to finding our secrets. So what did the government do to rile him up? I don't know. Eric says they're planning to send him to France for arrest, but then here, it's, it seems they refuse to send him a flight back to Russia. His primary target in home country. I'm not sure which, but either way, Victor's pissed. <clears throat> One moment. You got ten seconds to explain yourself. We're we gonna do this the hard way. Hey, right, you're a highly wanted criminal in multiple countries, and you're in the house of a high-ranking CIA agent. I got a thousand CIA agents at just the click of a button on a phone. So I suggest you get the hell out of Dodge. Anything yet? Uh, no, I don't see him anywhere. What about you? Uh, not a sign. We, we have to get that USB back, alright? But I, out of all the agents in the CIA, I had the most government files. He's got some serious information. So, uh, how did he even get into your place? <sighs> One mystery after another. <laughs> Just another day at the office. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm getting something. Yeah, I, I see. All right, uh, use caution, Sean. It, it looks like he's armed. Well, if it isn't Mr. Storm. That's Agent T. Now, why don't I shove that USB where the sun doesn't shine? Oh. Oh my gosh, did you really just say that? Is this your first time intimidating someone? Kind of. Well, if that's gonna be the case.
Got it. Great. Now you just sit tight. In just nine hours, you'll be out here and on a plane for France. Oh. And someone left this for you.